Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where you can level up your Weeb level by learning some trivia on the Japanese culture and language, and some nuances that were lost in the translation of an anime. In this case, for the first episode of Jigokuraku, or Hell's Paradise. Let's start right away with the Japanese title Jigokuraku. It's a combination of the word Jigoku, Hell, and Gokuraku, Paradise. The Hell term is a more general one, used for multiple religion, and it's written with ground and prison. The one for Paradise is more specific to Buddhist religion, to talk about the pure land of Amitabha, Gokuraku Jodo, and written with highest bliss. The name of our main character is Gabimaru, and could be interpreted as round, eyebrows, and round. It could be referring to a custom associated to the imperial court to put white paint on someone's face and draw black rounded eyebrows. The Gabi part also seems to be the Chinese name of a bird that looks like it has painted eyebrows. The other name of Gabi Malu that was translated into Holo was Galan in Japanese, and comes from Galando to talk about something empty or vacant. The origin of the term is to describe a type of large Buddhist temple that had very spacious rooms. Our other main character has a longer title, with Yamada Asaemon being based on a real historical clan of sword tester during the Edo period. If we take a more literal look at the different kanji used in her name, that are not necessarily meaningful, Yamada is written with mountain in rice field, and it's a pretty common Japanese name. Asaemon is shallow and gate, and Sagiri is assistant and cut. The ninja village name, Iwagakure, can be seen more literally as village hidden by rocks. The name of the magical den Shinsenkyo is written with gods, permit, and hometown. And the first part Shinsen is a term that comes from Taoism to describe a group of divine supernatural beings. There was also other names that were given to that place in this episode. Other side was Higan, which is the Buddhist term of Nirvana. Paradise was Gokulakudo, the same term reference in the title of the show. And Heaven was Tokoyo no Kuni, often referring to the land of the dead, the netherworld. The term for the elixir of life was Senyaku, Hermit and Medicine, which links with the Shin Senkyo name. I'm not sure how well known this is, but the Ryukyu Kingdom that was mentioned to talk about where the Shin Senkyo was situated is referring to an actual place in the southwest part of Japan of a line of islands including Okinawa. And for those that didn't know, Edo, the next stop of our characters, is the previous name of Tokyo. The ninjutsu that Gabimali used that was translated into Ascetic Blaze was Hiboshi. It comes from fire and a variant word for a Buddhist priest that was mainly used to refer to a monk that wasn't affiliated to any specific temple. The expression that was written behind the magistrate, that we can see in the background a couple of times, is Shisei Ikan, written from right to left, which was the way that those banners were written before World War II. It means to stay sincere until the end and go through, stick to, one plan or method. That's all I had for this episode, and you know what to do. Like this video to let me know if you want me to continue this series. Comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff.